This week, I'd like to look at a handy trick in order to help you reduce the development time when you're working with large data sets. So let's go look at my Power Query here. Uh, I've got my file path, and you'll notice it's pointing to a SharePoint site. And on here, I've got a couple of Excel files. I've got Excel file prod, which is chits all, which holds about 350,000 records. And that takes a little while when you're hitting your refreshes to actually come through when you're making manipulations. So the first thing I did is I grabbed that data, filtered it to just December 2013, loaded it to a worksheet, and saved that as a separate Excel file. So I snapshotted a much smaller data set out of my global set. And I've saved that here as 2013. And this is a look at the two files. Chits dev, about 1,500 rows of data here for just December 2013, and Chits prod that has all of my data back to 2009. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna build myself a nice new little parameter here. We're gonna go manage new parameter, and I'm gonna make myself a new parameter called data set. There we go. I'm just gonna go and paste in a description. Do you wanna work with dev or prod? And then this is gonna be text values, and I'm gonna give it a list of two, dev or prod. There we go. The default value, value is gonna be prod, but I'm gonna set my current to dev for my development set and we'll say, okay. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm now gonna go and I'll just reference chits prod. Here we go, reference, and call this one here, chits underscore staging. And you'll notice that it's referring to chits prod with our 2009 date. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this now. If my data set equals dev, then we're gonna go with chits underscore dev, else we're gonna go with chits prod. So if you don't get the dev exactly right, you're gonna get the production data set. When we hit enter, notice that it now changes to the smaller data set. And I can toggle this very, very quickly by just changing this out to prod, and right there, we're back to our 2009 set. And this is super, super handy because now, while I've got this set to dev, my refreshes will come back a lot faster, my preview refreshes, as I'm doing more complicated things because I'm only working with a 1500 row data set. And when I'm done, I switch it back to prod. If I'm doing this in Power BI, I publish it to the service and I can actually override that setting right away in the Power BI service to give the production data set. It's all formula firewall safe, everything works beautifully. So hopefully that's a trick that will help you speed up development time. Granted, you do have to make that separate file, but I think you're going to find it's worth it if you're working with big data sets. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.